Ron at Lancelot Video. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use a free OBS application, which is called OBS Source Switcher. As you can see here, the logos are switching and they're transparent. And over here, I've added a background. Let me go ahead and show you how this is done. Now that we're in OBS, go ahead and click the plus sign. We're gonna to go to image. Now I'm gonna add three images. I'll call this one one. Browse. Here's my image one. I just called it logo one. And I'll be using two and three later. So I'll just go click on one. Hit okay. Now I'm gonna add two more images. Now of course you can name these whatever you like. I'm just gonna make it easier for everyone just to call these images and add numbers to them. Now we have image two. Hit OK. And now we're gonna add the third image. Browse. And here we go. Now we have three images. One, two, and three. Believe it or not, we are almost done here. Let's move on to our scenes. I've created three sources with three different images and backgrounds. The one I'm gonna look at is this first one called Source Switcher, that's number one. Let's go ahead and click it. As you can see, I already have images here. The way to add the images is click on this plus sign and then you type in the name of your image. Got to be careful here because it has to be the exact spelling, punctuations as well. So if I do image space or spell images wrong or I don't have the capitalization, then you won't pick up the image. So I'll go ahead and hit cancel. As you can see here, it's already switching. And the way I created it is by scrolling down and I have this clicked as loop. And then we have this time switch. We want to click that as well. This will give the duration of how long it switches between scenes. You also want to scroll down to transition type. I made it fade, but you can change it to any option you want. You can add stingers as well, but I'm going to keep it as fade. And then I'm going to go and click OK. As you can see here, there's logos that are appearing on the screen. We did logos, now we're gonna do backgrounds. Now we'll click on this source. As you can see, I added two backgrounds. The way I did that, once again, is click on the plus sign and you enter the source's name here. Click OK. What's cool is you can actually see it working in the background. You also wanna scroll down once again, click on loop and click on swipe or you can change it to what you like. As it switches, you could also manipulate it as it's switching to make it smaller or bigger by holding on the left mouse key and there you go. You can also see it switching by clicking on properties as well and you can also change the order too. That's the tutorial on source switching. Let's go ahead and add a bonus section here which is adding a filter or chroma key. By doing that, you just click on filters and hit plus, and then go to chroma key if you wanna do a background or a green screen. Or you can also do, which is pretty cool here, is a color correction, which I like to do. Here you can change the way your image or your background is seen on the screen. By changing these sliders here, the gamma contrast and brightness, you could manipulate the background here you can see the cool effect that the color correction does to your image or your logo. Additionally, you wanna make sure the icons are transparent. The way we do that is go ahead and do right click, go to blending mode and click on screen. If you don't do that, then your logos will not be transparent. Now let's go ahead and put this all together. My images, my logos, my backgrounds. I'm gonna go ahead and add myself to this background and logos. Okay, this is with everything put together. You'll see the logos right here. And once again, it's transparent. I go ahead and change that source switcher and add a background instead. They both are switching. As you can see, you can use your background as well as your logos, or you can add yourself to it as well. And it has a really cool effect here when you blend everything together. Thanks again for watching my tutorial and I'll see you in the next video.